Next, we'd like to call upon the Tarleton State Texans, head coach Kerry Fowler, junior wide receiver Clifton Rhodes from Fort Worth, Texas, senior defensive back Deshaun Phillips of Duncanville, Texas. Welcome, gentlemen. Coach Fowler, if you would, just uh, opening statements as you uh, look forward to the 2013 season. We're excited at Tarleton State. You know, any time that, that you have an opportunity to, to speak about your team, you know, I, I always want to sell our team. I, I'm very, very fortunate, very honored to be able to coach this football team. Um, I really like them. I like the, you know, the type of kids that, that we've been able to maintain over the last few years at, uh, at Tarleton. And, uh, you know, they're probably the hardest working football team that uh that i've been around you know we we practice in the spring uh, the training room open at 4 45 a.m and uh, we haven't had a kid later miss and uh and being able to um you know get our practice in before school and and you know we've seen a lot of changes on and off the football field with our grade point averages and the success that we're having in that area um you know you're you know we're just excited you know i've got a lot of kids coming back um we have 27 kids on our team that have started at least two games and over 40 lettermen coming back. So, you know, those guys have, have played a lot of football. Um, over our first 16 games that we started when I became the head coach, we were 3-13. and 13. And uh, since that date now, we're 12-4, uh, we're and, and, and four of those losses coming by a total of, of 12 points. So we're close there. Um, we've got to eliminate the, the, the mistakes that, that uh, cause us to lose in big games and, uh, and be able to overcome. But, uh, you know, I just want to say thanks to Coach Reesman's here. And, uh, Coach, you know, it's, it's an honor to be able to work for you. Um, you know, not many people have an opportunity to – uh, be a head coach and your and your athletic director is also a coach too and you see things through our eyes and uh, um, I wouldn't want to work with anybody in in the world you it's awesome and your advice and leadership and I think that's a big thing that 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 I get is is uh, an AD that's also a coach and, and has really helped bridge that gap but we're excited I got I feel like I have a great football team coming back and I'm just honored to be able to coach these guys and uh, you know we'll see where, where it happens at the end of the year. All right, our first question will go to Clifton Rhodes, a local product from right here in Fort Worth. Uh, Tarleton ranked second in passing offense last season. Tell us a little bit about your role in the air attack. Uh, in the air attack, I see my role as just getting the job done, being at the right spot at the right time, and catching the rock. Which game uh, on your schedule this year are you looking forward to and why? Uh, I'm looking forward to all of them because I see us, I see us on top every day, all day. And so I'm looking forward to all the games. Moving down the line to Sean Phillips, uh, defensive back from Duncanville. So many teams in the Lone Star Conference are pass first, throw second. What is the key as a defensive back to trying to shut down the passing attacks that you see week in and week out? You just got to have confidence, you know. You got to play with great technique that the coach teaches you. And you got to know once, once, once quarterback say hut, you have to be very confident in what you do. You can't, can't be timid in any aspect to be a DB. You'll be a senior at Tarleton State this year. Looking back on your uh, collegiate career, what's your favorite memory from your time at TSU? Honestly, my favorite memory is just after every game we win. It's just the, the environment after the game, just, just how, how things are after the game, you know. There's nothing like the feeling when you win a game. All right, thanks, Deshaun. Coach, back to you. In your first three years as the Texans head coach, your team has improved their Lone Star Conference finish each year. What are your goals for this year's team? You know, we, we talked about that. We're not going to set goals. Um, you know, you know, our, our, you know, main thing that we're talking about right now is that every play and, and every moment in your life has a history of itself. And uh, God didn't equip us with eye in the back of our head. We're just going to get up and and uh, and attack the next play, the next breath, and next moment uh, with a positive thing. You know, the you know one thing that we've changed is I've told them, you know, I never want to catch them looking at the scoreboard. You know, no matter where we're at, if we're down or we're up, we're uh, we're going to let that play. Um, you know, be in the past. We've got great continuity. You know, our, our offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator are here, in the, and we've been together for a long, long time. Um, you know, I, you know, with Justin Kerrigan and Henry Kofer, and we got great continuity on the coaching staff. Um, you know, not many times. You know, the, the continuity that that I have with those two guys that they go out and try to make each other better. 
every day and, and, and they believe in the vision and the goal that we started three years ago. And, uh, you know, we're just going to take it one day at a time, one breath at a time, one moment at a time. And, and that's where we, you know, we've been able to, re you know, improve every year um, is because we have learned from our mistakes and uh, we've got to eliminate it. You know, the, the little mistakes it cost us last year, um, but I've got a team that does it. You know, you've got 87 kids that are on campus right now. Um, and, that, and, that's, and that's, a, that's a great commitment um, from your football team. You know, you can't do anything with them and it's all voluntary workouts and to see them um, hold each other accountable every day um, and, and push each other. Uh, last night I went to a restaurant there in town and, and walked in and, and we had 10 kids sitting there eating, eating uh, dinner together. And I realized right then that, that, the, that the changes that we wanted to make uh, three years ago is starting to take place. And give us, if you will, your thoughts on the Lone Star Football Festival and your opponent, Midwestern State. It's a great opportunity. Uh, it'll be our first game um, opening up that night. Um, uh, you know, it's a great it's a great environment. But you know, you, you, anytime that you can play in the biggest stage in in football, um, you've got to be excited about it. But you know, um, when the when the ball kicks off, you could be playing in a, in a stadium that holds ten people. You know, the, the game of football is played. Uh, you know, you, we don't realize what the environment is. Uh, playing Midwestern State, it's an, it's a it's a great opportunity. Coach Maskell is, uh has done a great job over at Midwestern and always has a great team. I had the opportunity to work at, working for Bill for seven years, and we had a great a great run there together and um, has prepared us but uh, you know I'm just excited about whoever we may play just you know you know I'm excited to get the season going on we got we come into camp we don't play for 30 days from the time we report to camp so we'll be looking forward to to, uh, to playing the game after 30 days of practice well thank you coach uh, coach Fowler Clifton Deshaun thanks for being with us this morning and best of luck in the 2013 season thank you thank you, thank you.